all the time. We hear these things all the time. The boy, after for 83 years, he did not have a child, Prophet Ibrahim to a salam. And then when he finally had a child and the boy reached that age that he can work and help his dad, Allah said, I need you to slaughter him. And remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Hajj, chapter 22, verse 37, he says, it's not the blood and flesh that he wants, it is what? The taqwa, to see if Prophet Ibrahim والسلام, will put the love of Allah, the commands of Allah first. Very interesting. And you know what was very interesting also? When Prophet Ibrahim والسلام, saw the dream that he was commanded to slaughter his son, and he told his son, the beloved son, the precious son that he had, he said, Allah has commanded me to slaughter you. Do you know what the son said? He said, ya abati af'al ma tu'mar. You don't find sons saying this today. He said, oh, Father, do what you have been commanded to do. Many times today you have fathers tell the sons, pray. The son says, no, you don't need to tell me to pray. I'm a big man now. Here is a man, a son, ordered to be killed. Killed. And the father said, God commanded me to kill you. He said, do as you have been commanded by Allah to do. I get goosebumps when I say that. Today, you can't even tell your sons and daughters to pray. To do the right thing. Marry the right person. Eat the halal food. Dress the halal way. Do the right thing. They tell you, dad, mom, you old. They are, this is a different time. It's America. Our life, our style, our time. You do what you have to do. Don't, don't get in our business. Could you compare us to that? That's why we, gradu we, gradu we celebrate this graduation of Prophet Ibrahim. Go check it out. Chapter 7, verse 102. The son said, Allah, ya abati, your father, oh my father. Af'al ma tu'mar. You do what you are commanded to do if it means killing me. For the sake of Allah. 